What mm. up, everybody? Welcome back to another KO Kings video. We, we got something new for y'all. I just want to welcome y'all to season one, episode one of our new little podcast. We're going to sit down. We're going to talk new to some, talk and exclusive. To right. You don't know any of the YouTubers that's doing this? I'm the first. Well, we're we not really the first, but we're the first to do it in this we're in the this first to way. do it our way. Our way. So right. I'm gonna, Go ahead and give it to you, David. Go ahead and kick this off. Well, first of all, we got to go um, give props to this dude type here for finally going to buy a microphone. Um, let me just be honest. This dude was slacking. Now he's trying to take it a little serious. Oh, uh, yeah. And so today he went and made his purchase. Actually, he purchased the Elgato. What was it? Um, what, yeah, around Christmas? Or that was around Christmas, yeah. And but it, it didn't, it didn't work. work. Yeah. So I had to, uh, Take but it back. Yeah, I'm gonna start taking this way more serious. I'm gonna go cop me another one coming up soon. We got a lot of big plans coming this this summer. Summer 18, that's gonna be my year. My yeah, summer. Trying to pop off. Okay, so so what brings us here today? I don't know what we will be talking about. I don't know. You 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 started off. What do you so want to talk about? I want to start off with is because I, I witnessed this today. I don't know if it's going down or you going down, but. Uh, you gonna have a, a new little outbreak of E. coli outbreak. For real? And since I work at uh, yeah, since I work at McDonald's, you know, I'm I'm working with like salads and stuff, and with, like we had to throw away all our salads and stuff, cause it, it had E. coli in it. It's a lot of E. coli going around, and uh, it's a little lake up here that always gets E. coli, and it's just kind of crazy to see it pop off as soon as it, as soon as it wants to get hot and stuff. We get get hit with E. coli. So wait, what made them like they did they? Did your boss, like our manager, come like, like throw away all the salad, or y'all just or what? Yeah, like we was just, yeah, they just was like throw away all the salad and stuff. Okay, and so I, I think it's. Go ahead. I think it's kind of crazy because I think we did end up giving some some salads out before they even found out. So, like we might have gave some out of some E. coli or something. So, you know that might happen, end up with a lawsuit or something like that. I'm not sure. Okay, so what about Big Macs? Like, the lettuce goes on Big Macs, and that's part of the salad. So, yeah, what did y'all yeah. do about the Big Macs? I don't, I don't know what they did about that. They didn't, because I'm not on the grill or something, so I'm not cooking. But um, I don't think they threw away no Big Macs, so they might have been giving out E. coli. I don't know if E. coli is something that, like, dies with heat. So, like, if you boil it, it it'll die or whatever. Mm -hmm. Because like, they, they might have did something like that where they'll, they'll just boil it but i'm not sure they google it google it <laughs> you, do that for you have to excuse the I background think it's noise crazy to i think it's kind of crazy e coli is something to play with i know i know some people with e coli and that shit really fucked them up really yeah that shit really like it fuck with you you have to go to the hospital I and a lot of also it. With the E. coli, a lot of salmonella is going around too right now. Oh yeah, you can get that from eating ass too. <laughs> so young well, niggas out here stop eating butt. Uh well yeah, it does too. It has to be boiled to a certain amount of heat. But uh, also like salmonella and eggs and stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't think we got it. I don't think we got our eggs contaminated because. We were still giving out like egg and muffins and stuff like that today, but a lot of that stuff is going around. So just watch what you're eating. You know. No, some people say you shouldn't eat like there's, there's some people say it's not good to eat raw eggs, and then some people drink raw yeah. eggs in the morning, and then some people mm -hmm. like cook their eggs and had a yolk still in it. I just don't understand it. Like, can yeah. you eat a raw egg, or are you, are you not supposed to eat a raw egg, or what? I don't know. I don't know. I always thought if you ate a raw egg, you would throw up. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I mean, I don't know if you get I it can, down. I can't eat a raw egg. I can't eat a raw egg. I know my stomach ain't going for that, so <laughs> I guess it's really. I don't know. Like you have that to yolk, be like baby. vegan or something. Oh, <laughs> I don't fucking know. I I can't eat a raw egg. I gotta eat my shit scrambled. And even if I do make them like sunny side, gotta up, be scrambled. I gotta bust the yolk and fry it. I can't just mm -mm, can't do that. Yeah, I know a lot of people. They get the. They like to get the egg white out of their eggs because i heard it's i don't know if it's bad for you or what but it's like, like fattening too like or something kind of, yeah a lot of people don't like that in the scrambled eggs or just in their eggs period 
I've been eating eggs for so long. I don't even care. I just eat the egg. Sometimes a little know, shell get in the egg when you find it. I still eat that shit. You know? But it don't matter. <laughs> I don't know about all that. I got to get that shit out. But... Shit, fuck that. If I can't get that shit out that hot pan, I just stir it up and I, I catch that crunch <laughs> later on. You feel me? I just catch that shit later on. But yeah. Yo, what the fuck? That's crazy. But yeah, like I said, we just, I don't know, man. We just sitting here. I guess today we, the, our topic is going to be about, uh, what do you want to talk about? Music? Uh, go ahead. What you, got, you got anything on music? Uh, well, as far as music, like what you mean, like on my insights on music or music in general, music today, or where is music yeah, going? Your insights, your insights, anybody, you know, anybody releasing anything? That's going on. I'm gonna keep it. I don't listen to too many new rappers, but um, it's a rap. Derez, I'm niggas been sleeping on him. Derez Deshaun is really like killing the game right now. That dude, his whole mixtape pain is just phenomenal. Like his mixtape is all like all that and then some. Um, Nip been in the game for a minute, but it's another new dude I've been listening to named G Perico. I'm telling you, G Perico is putting on for the West Coast. He looked like DJ Quick and sound like Easy E, and he got a Jerry girl. You know what oh, I'm saying? Man. So been telling the, me about him a lot. So I'm the nigga is raw. I'm, this is that's he's the only rapper I've been listening to for like the past three weeks now. Like I've been heard about him, but. I just started like downloading this music and I was I, I listened to like one mixtape and I was like yo this nigga kind of raw and then I just downloaded some more music and I was just like it's my favorite rapper right now but the Rez Deshaun G Perico um them, that's who I'm feeling right now as it's like new artists let me like, ask you this I got a question for you well mm-hmm. like I like I, I already told you this earlier in the week that Eminem and Dr. Dre was getting the studio together but also Dr. Dre and Ice Cube are gonna be going to Coachella so you think we could be seeing some new music from them? I don't know. I think Dre always in the lab doing something, regardless of if it's rapping or making music or making beats for anybody. Like Tiffany was even saying, I guess yeah. Dr. Dre even working with that girl, want to work with that girl Queen too. So I think Dr. Dre always cooking, cooking up something. Dr. Dre's about his money. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, he know what he's doing. He he's a good. But baby. even like. Ice Cube, we ain't, we ain't really seen no music from Ice Cube that that blown up lately. But so it would be nice to get some. Ice Cube, some Ice Cube is a spitter though. He like he rap, but it's like a lot of rappers when they transition over from rapping to acting, they kind of stop selling records. Cause like if you look at LL Cool J, yeah. he was like the most biggest rapper ever. He started making movies and he kind of nobody really like looking for an LL album no more. But everybody know he could rap. And now everybody look at Ice Cube as like the director or the actor. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that. A lot of people don't, especially kids, they know Ice, they know of Ice Cube, but they don't know him as a rapper. They, they know, don't him know him as, as a actor, rapper. Right. And a director. They know him from Friday. 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 They don't know exactly. him from, from NWA. Right. So. And that's another story about niggas see, bandwagon off that NWA movie. He became a fan all of a sudden. Yeah. You know, people but. like people. Nobody knew who Easy E was until that. Like a lot, especially like kids that I know. Nobody knew who Easy E was until that movie came out. Y'all knew who Ice Cube was. Mm-hmm. A lot of Dr. people didn't Dre. even know that 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 Ice Cube was writing their raps. Yep, it's true. So like, it just goes to show how how good of a rapper he is. He really is. He's writing a, raps for a whole group. Yeah, I think Ghostwriter just make. I don't know. I I feel a certain type of way about people who. Like I like Drake, but I felt a certain type of. I guess I'm from the era of like you have to write your own music. You got to write your own music and spit your own music. But then, yeah, it's ghostwriters out there. It's people who can't really write songs or they just don't have the time to do it because they always on tour. And I can understand that. Like a lot of people don't know, Fifty Cent goes ghost, ghost, was ghostwriting for. He was ghostwriting for a lot of people. He was signed to Bad Boy ghostwriting for a while before he popped off. A lot of a lot of hit songs that came out in the early 2000s, 50 Cent was writing them shits. People don't even realize that. One thing about big rappers, I feel like if you have a ghostwriter, don't don't pop off like you writing your shit. Because if you get into beef with somebody, that means somebody's still gonna be writing your music for you, your beef. So they don't even really got beef with you. They got beef with somebody else, and you just, you know, 
It's kind of like a big brother. Like you calling your big brother to fight your battle. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, I, I ain't nothing wrong with having a Ghost Rider. I know a lot of people like Taylor Swift has Ghost Riders. Nikki has Ghost Riders. So it's nothing wrong with it. But I also feel like if you are if you're a Ghost Rider for like a big like rapper or singer or whatever, I feel like you should try to you know go independent. Start your why don't you like produce and sing your own music? I know I, a lot of people don't have the voice, but I feel I mean, like there are some people that do though. Like I said, like a person like Drake, he I think he has written some of his music, but he's like a real busy dude. So I can un- kind of understand some of his ghost writing stuff. But I, I yeah. feel like if you somebody like a punchline rapper with like metaphors and and stuff like that, and you really like mean what you rap about, like you shouldn't have a ghostwriter. Like I me, mean, I'm the type of nigga I like to listen to. I like fabulous. I like bars and I like metaphors and I like stuff that you will be rapping and you don't understand it. And then you'll listen to the song maybe for a couple weeks and then you'll be like, oh, that's what he you meant by that. It. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I like I like that too. I like like I like to have to do research on my music a lot of times. Mm-hmm. Like, because, you know, I listen to Eminem and Kendrick Lamar and like a lot of like one thing Huey Newton was the one person I didn't know about. But then when Kendrick started right, rapping about him, it I make you go, go and search about him. I, I like it, to go. I, I like, like to music research. like that. You learn about your history and you learn about a lot of stuff from music and rappers like that. Yeah, I like music like that too. Yeah, I like that. But you know, I a guess of, it's, a, it's been a lot of music that's that's come out recently that from rappers that I listen to that I've had to do a lot of research on. And I, I miss with I some like, newer rappers too, like I said. But yeah, a lot of new rappers. One rapper who is like Bad Batty. I, you probably know her as the Catch oh. Me Outside girl. But God, she's not as a rapper. She she isn't that bad. I don't think I she writes. Like she's not writing her music. Yeah, I don't think she's writing her music. But it's not, it's not terrible. It's not what a. It's better than a lot of these rappers who are rapping. Still milking the game. Mm-hmm. I look at it as though I look at it as they milking the game, bro. Like, it, what, what is her nationality? She's white. I don't know. I think she's mixed or something. Man, but she she kills uh, this this shit. Like I said, they all want to be like us. They all want to be like us and get, and get money off us, but don't yeah. nobody ever want to like help nobody. You know what I'm saying? It's cool to be like us, but it is what it is. I mean, I can't gotta, I can't hate on nobody getting their money. So one thing about people that that want to be like us is to be like us. You have to be treated like us too. Mm-hmm, to understand well a lot of people like you don't understand why we are the way we are but you you have to look at our history and a lot of things that we had to go through and a lot of things that we are going through mm-hmm. but also if you if you going if you're gonna take it there we could take it there you want to <laughs> take it there i mean like i was telling tiffany today i was like you know back in the day like I was telling her like you could go to different cities and stuff and everybody would have their own slang and then when Chicago niggas emerged onto the rap scene everybody started talking like a Chicago nigga everybody on phone them I got the 30 on bro and them. every on everything was on them and on my kids and all that everybody started talking like a Chicago nigga like you could be in fucking Albuquerque and you could hear them niggas talking like Chicago niggas like Everybody sound the same now, or everybody sound like they from Atlanta or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, don't. Cities don't have their own slangs no more. You feel me? Yeah, it's like that's definitely a lot of and a lot of our slang that's like Pennsylvania slang. I definitely don't want to use it because it's weird. Like a lot of time, a lot of kids they they say small. I don't. That's I don't know what that. What that shit mean? It means, <laughs> it means some weird shit. It's that's like good. they'll be like, oh, some, oh my gosh, it's like. If you if I talk the way that they talk, it you be so weird. Like they talk backwards, kind of. They'd be like, like if someone it says like go get something for me, they'd be like me getting this. Oh, that's like, so dumb. that's just it's that's just so dumb. Weird. That's just dumb. That's just dumb. That's just, just wanna, because people don't want to pronounce full thing. words. People just oh my god. Mm-mm. I mean, it's cool for your city to have their own slang because that that make you different from other cities. You know what I'm saying? They had your own type of yeah, way of talking gotta, and stuff. But that's dumb. But it, it gotta be it gotta mean something though. Mm-hmm. 
feel like I have to mean something. Like One you can you can ask a nigga what do phone them mean? Like what does that shit? What did that really mean? And I, a lot of people like don't it. know. Like, if, if you're using slang, if you're using slang, if you're using anything, you gotta know what it mean. You I have hate, to. Know I what hate it mean. that. I hate people. I hate ignorant people. Like they use something and they don't know. I hate people that that use the word ignorant and don't know what the word ignorant means. Dumb. I hate stuff like that. Dumb. Is this? What do you think? In the next ten years, what do you think that generation is gonna be like? Honestly, in your opinion, since you're younger than me, uh, you think it's gonna get better? Know. I think it's gonna go fifty-fifty. The fashion is gonna change. I think we're we're starting to shift back to like we did go through that little phase where we was wearing a lot of tight clothes. Yeah, but yeah, we kind of yeah. getting back to loose. We getting to a lot of loose clothes now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm starting to see that too. I'm starting to see that too. Right. Like one thing I can't I can't make myself be with them because I don't wear tight shit. I wear sweatpants and, and hoodies and shit like that. Mm-hmm. But I just kinda look at what they wearing and they're they're starting to fade back to the loose shit. Yeah. Cause um even when I used to go like where I live it's not that many clothing stores, but even when I used to go shopping, like I remember the last outfit I bought, I said, Oh, I'm finna buy an outfit. I went and bought like a jean outfit. And it was my size. Everything was my size. Mm-hmm. The, the, the shirt, the, it was a button-up shirt. It was, it was my size. The jeans was my size. And I, was, I didn't even try it on, but I knew better. But I bought it, got it home. Mm-hmm. I put it on. It felt like I had a, a woman's outfit on, and it was my size. They just making clothes. They just making clothes extra tight. So I just took it back, what? got my money back. One thing that I think is gonna be different is like the '90s. They was kind of, you know, they was kind of wearing jeans. Yeah, that was you know, the, a lot of people, was Niggas was wearing jeans. The 2000s niggas was wearing jeans. Mm-hmm. But then in like the 2010s, we started wearing these tight ass jeans. Mm-hmm. But now it's kind of like, it's not sweatpant material. It's, it's more like, like a legging type of material. Like stockings kind of is what yeah. a lot of people are wearing now. Yeah. Now I ain't gonna find- joggers. I really like the joggers. I do too. But. It's, just, it's not weird. I just like people will look really nice if they wear their outfits for the right occasion. Mm-hmm. If it fits you, I right? Feel like people just kind of dress, yeah. And they gotta be like, like don't be wearing no hot shit in like nine degrees weather. It's like that's how LA niggas dress. They wear a lot of hot shit. Not like the hood <laughs> niggas, but the but like the suburbs and shit. They wear hot shit in like nine degree weather and shit. And I. I never wore. I never understood. Like like niggas will wear coats, in the, in the fucking summertime. Mm-hmm. Just to look good. I think a lot of clothes is overpriced. Cause me, I'm just I just rather have oh, like yes. some shorts and the t-shirt, and or some regular jeans and the yeah. t-shirt. That's just like, me. I went to um, Paxson. I don't know if you know what Paxson is. I heard in it. American Eagle. They them niggas are selling jeans for fifty dollars. It's crazy. Like, it's way definitely overpriced. It's and crazy. a lot of the clothes. It's kind of funny, like. And then you gotta like, you look gotta, at like, it, like you gotta get your, you gotta think about it. Niggas be want to get their shoes. Okay, that's like mm-hmm. 150. Your jeans, like you said, 50 dollars. You might want to get a nice Nike shirt. That'd be like 40 dollars. And if you want to wear a hat, that's probably like 40 dollars. And you want to get you a watch or something, that's like another 60 dollars. And I ain't trying to sound like a cheapskate, but that's that's but like that's 400 dollars on one outfit. And one thing about black people is we like the real, you know, you know how black people are. They they rather get some new sneakers than fuck that than pay their rent. I'd rather put food and in my house. Fuck that. Exactly. And one thing with jeans is, and and even like t-shirts. One only thing that's making like t-shirts overpriced is the brand that's on it. Like a little like a polo, like a polo shirt will be forty dollars. And the only reason it could be a black shirt, the mm-hmm. only reason it's forty dollars is because it has a horse with a guy on it. Exactly. But you can find a. I have plenty of white t shirts. I, I'll go out the house in a white tee and right. get a whole pack for like not even $10. Exactly. You could wear them all summer because it's hot. Exactly. Who want to wear some, you know, a black t shirt, a hot ass black t shirt or, you know what I'm saying? In the white tee, you just, exactly. just chilling. I can get some, I can get some plain, some plain gray sweatpants with no, with no, nothing on it for like 10 bucks and they going to fit me perfectly and I'm. Who won't say nothing about it? Cause it don't, don't even matter. Man, it's crazy. The game is crazy. A lot of people just, a lot of people act and dress 
just the way that they want to be like they're friends and i think that's weird priorities is jacked up nowadays you can be fronting and fraud yeah, priorities is just jacked up nowadays you know what i'm saying but it's, uh, it's now it's up to like y'all to show the younger kids or like us to but show one the younger kids. I will say one thing is we we are getting we're not getting raised to have our priorities straight. Our schools, like my school, we got a real good system on like one thing when you become a freshman in my school, you have to take a financial class, which I think that's good. But like the mm-hmm. other schools in the city, they're not teaching that. That's why a lot of people are buying. That's why people rather buy shoes than then pay their rent and stuff and i looked at i looked at white people and like i was i was looking at a, doing a lot of research and i was noticing how like a lot of them are rich and shit because one thing that i always thought was weird till i kind of thought about it was they they won't buy they'll get like one pair of sneakers and they'll they'll wear them for years until they get holes in them before mm-hmm. they buy another pair of sneakers okay. and i thought about it i'm just sitting here thinking like look at how many how like we want to go get sneakers every week when they they're wearing the same pair and look how much money that that saves yep yep but it's just hard because to we're, we're so afraid to be like like judged and shit that we can't do that exactly and uh, you know that go back to like when i was saying about derez deshaun like he did a video on it's a song on his mixtape because he was actually like he popped off a few years ago and 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 he kind of like fell off after slim duncan died he tried to rap again he kind of went away for a while and he was homeless he was a rapper and waka flocking them he mm. cool with them but he was homeless he was like living he's literally homeless and he got two kids and he did a video where he was talking to his girlfriend and he gave her some money or something like that and she went and spent the money on like weed and shoes or something like that in the video he was talking to her on the phone and he was like um he said, what you what you spent the money on? He was like, yeah. Um, She was like, I bought some weed and shoes or something. She was like, well, I hope them shoes light up when the lights go off in the house. Because that's what I gave you the money for. She rather went and bought oh. some, some weed and some fucking shoes than paying the light bill. And she got kids with the nigga. You know what I'm saying? So niggas' priorities be jacked up. That's crazy. I know you seen that. I think you seen that one video when that girl, like, them, like it was a couple husband. And they was like poor, they poor, but the girl went to Walmart and got her nails done on the on the, I like seen the last that. dollars. I seen that. And that was I like, seen that. That's crazy. crazy. And and with that twenty dollars, she could have bought like some food. But then some girl, some females do. I feel some females do need to be treated sometime, and they do want to be pretty, feel pretty. But if you got kids, and that was your also, last you money. To, you also have to, if you're struggling, especially if you're a couple, I think that you should be treated. But if you if you know. That you guys are struggling check to check to pay the bills you, you have to take the l sometimes yeah you have to for like to better yourself mm-hmm. they, didn't, they didn't like nobody has faith anymore and nobody prays anymore no one really goes to church anymore now when you see people go to church it's like older people like people forget about that faith and keeping faith and yeah, praying a lot of people, they don't have morals no more they don't have nope. goals nope it's all about but flashing money a lot on of the times they, don't, they don't know how to set goals though right like like i understand you have to learn how to set the goal before you can set a goal a lot of people think you just you just this is what i want to do and i'm gonna i'm gonna do it but how can you how can you want to do something if you don't you have to have steps to get to something you can't just boom you know, get you it just i'm here i'm here now but tomorrow i'm gonna be here mm-hmm it's, it's like it's like losing weight if you lose weight and then you exercise and then you get to a point where you lost the weight and you just stop exercising that shit yeah. gonna come right back if you don't keep it up and you even if you saying? don't even if you want to lose weight you can't expect to lose 20 pounds tomorrow you have yeah. to you like, gotta work on it you gotta work for it a lot of, I, I know i know there's a lot of people who start working out because they don't notice result results mm-hmm. but it, it results okay they're gonna come with hard work and it's gonna take time mm-hmm. speaking of right, results so i lost like seven pounds what you say i said speaking of results i lost like seven pounds just putting that out there it's nothing to brag about though but yeah so i mean it is what it is so let's just let's dig into something new though We've been drilling on this topic a lot. Yeah, because it's starting to get a little depressing. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, we, I started that one, though, so you just you throw something out there, and whatever you want to. Because we've been talking for 27 minutes so far. I wanted to, uh, one thing I guess I can bring up is God of War next week. <gasps> oh, 
yeah. I can't wait. You you getting it? I don't, I don't know yet. I'm because I'm not big on God of War. I played a few of them, but it was never. I'm telling that you. was never like my game. I'm telling you now. I think but you I, might I do wanna, want to. I do want to experience it though. So I think you might want to get I, it. I think I am going to cop that. The game hasn't been, even been released yet, and I watched three sites that gave this game a ten out of a ten already. Mm-hmm. Ten out of a ten. They said this is an experience for everybody to at least witness or play. I can't wait. And one thing with with Kratos is one thing is since he is an exclusive character, you know, he's only been on PlayStation. I, I do have a. I think that they when they say they want you to experience it is because if you're on PlayStation, most likely you have like a not. I don't want to say like a relationship with Kratos. I think that's just yeah. like. But you have you have like a I'm gonna have to say a relationship with Kratos, even though you don't you might not even have to play it, but since I've played a few games and I since I, I think I know what's gonna happen, it wants to like make you it's gonna make you feel. And that's what they that's what they're gonna get their money at and that's what they wanna do with this game. They wanna make you feel and put the story in a new direction. Yeah, I think because like you said, um a relationship with Kratos because it's only like you said it's been exclusively only on playstation and if you play yeah. it like from the first one and the second one and the third one like after the second story i was like okay this is a good ass story then when the third one came out i was like yeah this is good then ascensions came out and i was like I, the people shitted on that one but i really i liked it and i was like the, the story of this is this game is just, it's crazy like only the only mm-hmm. down thing i don't like about it now well i can't even say i don't like about it but kind of twisted me the wrong way was like they changed the, they got a different voice actor for kratos the normal dude who've been doing all the games is he ain't here no he ain't doing it no more i guess you know what i'm saying but other than that i've been trying not to get so hype about the game because i've been let down by games so many times yeah and that's i understand that but after when i seen the second review i was like okay i'll give it something but when i seen that third review, but one thing and, i do have to one thing i do have to say about that game is it, it I think it has more reviews than any other game that we have like looked out for mm-hmm. and, and videos and stuff like that because one thing with, with like games that we get disappointed by is because of the trailers yeah like, yeah like a lot of people they they try to get you with their trailer and okay once they get you with that trailer they get you hooked so in that type of a game what do you look for in that type of a game Cause it's not a free world. Uh, it's not a free world game. It's just a, really a story driven game. With with you know. So oh, what do you? You mean like a game like for? like God of War? What am I looking for? Yeah, like a story driven type of game. I want to have the game has to have emotion in it, especially right. with a character like Kratos, where he's really like a like a hard guy. Like he's like a like a killer kind of. Mm-hmm. So it has to have emotion, especially with the with the kid. Now this is something that we haven't seen from the, the, the god of war series mm-hmm. and then yeah of course since it's a um what is it third person now well yeah over the shoulder yeah graphics have to be key the frame per second has to be perfect i, I, I seen it on the playstation pro resolution game looks phenomenal for now you see every grain of skin like the game look ridiculous so speaking on emotions Honestly, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it one thou wow. The only game that messed with my emotions, I'm gonna keep it real, was The Last of Us. Mm-hmm. And that and that beginning scene when when his the whole game was just Look, good, but yes, it was a it was a ten out of ten. But that that specific scene, that little episode, that was pulled my emotions, heartbreaking. It pulled and that, my that's emotions. That's what really dragged it in. Yep. I think that's they were like really good. They, that's how they dragged you in. Yeah. And and Naughty Dog is really good at that. That's how they dragged us in the four games of Uncharted. Mm-hmm. And I only play. I think a, I only played the they first have, two. They have like, that's one thing. They you you have to have amazing graph. You have to have like, you have to top Naughty Dog. They have amazing graphics and an amazing story. Mm-hmm. And one thing. One thing that I will have to give them props for is the the frame per second is like perfect on that game, especially with a game with guns. It's hard to do that. Like Far Cry Five, mm-hmm. it's kind of like slacking. When you shoot your gun, the frames mess up. 
Really? So then with a game like God of War, when you there is no guns, but you're going to be like swinging axes and stuff, it's going to, like, the frame per second has to be like, it has to match the way he swings and mm-hmm. how it has to look perfect. Yeah, I, I seen it in the PS4 Pro on IGN, and that shit just looked oh god it made me it make me want to get one but i know i'm good because i got a 1080p elgato so once i stream the video oh, it'll look good but that shit look do you know they got a 6k like a 6k television out now Damn, bro, it it's like cool. remember it went from 720 to like hd 1080p hd to 4k now it's at like 6k how it's much sc- i don't i don't know if it's going from like two like four to six I don't know, but I seen somewhere on like on YouTube or something. There was, it was like a 6K resolution TV or something somewhere. I remember out. when we seen the, the TVs that bent, we were like so excited about that shit. And I'm like, how much higher resolution can you actually get? Is from it gonna get? seeing things in real life? Like, like now you got to have to be able to feel and see and smell. Exactly. I mean, how start, can... like really putting some senses into this? It's crazy, but yeah, man. Yeah, so it's like. I don't know. It, 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 like, uh, you're not gonna need glasses for TVs no more soon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's gonna but. fuck up your eyesight, though. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, speaking of that, do you think some some TVs got cameras in them? I thought um, about that. No, but I think they do. I heard that. I heard about the spy thing. How mm-hmm. some of them might be spying on you, but I think. I think it might be getting your sound and what you're hearing. One thing with the TV is like Alexa. Yeah. I heard that it might it might be a CIA spy or an FBI spy because some of the things <laughs> that crazy. you can ask it, some of the things that you can ask it, it will like shut it down and it knows it's shut down. And and like even this, just thinking about that, that something can be like they might be having this in your home, listening to you and what's going on. It's crazy. Like I said, even sometimes when I be on this game and we be talking, and then I'll go on YouTube or something, and it'll be in my suggestion box. Mm -hmm. One thing I never understood, though, is if the FBI, if they're watching our phones and they're watching what we're doing and they're listening to us, how come they're not out here stopping crime? Because if you're watching me and you're listening to me, you know what's going on in my house. So if somebody was a break in my house, how the fuck the cops don't know to come? Like, what the hell? Because they solve the crimes that they want to solve. Why are you only looking out for like terrorists and shit? All oh, them niggas out there shooting, man. We ain't going out there fucking with them niggas. <laughs> like, come on. It's a twisted, fucked up game. It's a twisted, fucked up world we live in. You know. But it is what it is. What is you playing? It's okay. I thought you was playing something. Well, um. We almost 40 minutes in this, so I think we're gonna end this right here. I don't know how many people are actually gonna watch and listen to this whole thing, but I, the last video sounded so good. I just felt like we just both agreed that we had to do something like this because we always talk about shit like this anyway. So, but yeah, this is not definitely not stage, right? We just decided to record uh, it. Look out for episode two. We're going to mm-hmm. decide a name, and this was, was gonna be. Um. Yeah, yeah. Look out for episode two. Good night. Good morning. Good afternoon. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. Bitch!